<laughs> I'm gonna practice and just get really good at that. What's up dudes? Kai back on the big screen, back on the telly. We are gonna make Neapolitan pizzas. Neapolitan pizza is like the originator of pizza. It comes from Naples. The round pizzas with the super puffy crust around the outside. So we will start with the dough. You need a scale, you need some active dry yeast, a bowl, in goes the water first. This is for two doughs, by the way. It's gonna be 210 grams of water. Whoop. For the active dry yeast, it's just gonna be a quarter teaspoon. Get my fangle in there, dude. Next, we're gonna use flour. 332 grams of this. Finesse it. We're gonna add the salt straight in, 10 grams. And then we're just gonna mix everything together. Once it kind of reaches this like shaggy, crumbly phase, I'm just gonna go in with our fangles, man. We're gonna let this ferment for 20, roughly 24 hours at like room temp. Just cover this super tightly with plastic wrap, otherwise it's gonna form like a crust on there. This is after 24 hours. We're gonna do roughly 250 grams. There's lots of different ways to form this. You kind of just wanna be quick with it cause like the temperature of your hands will mess it up. So basically I'm just gonna like fold it in on itself and kind of degas it at the same time. And then you just wanna like pinch the seam shut on the bottom side. So top side and then the bottom side. We would just put it in a plastic container and then cold ferment it for up to two days. And then this is what it will end up looking like kind of a blob like that. One of the most important parts of making pizza before you use it, you wanna let it come up to room temperature, which can take up to like two hours. Set aside and we're gonna make like a really quick pizza sauce from Neapolitan style. All right, dudes, next thing we're gonna make is the sauce. Uh, you guys know I love these Bianco Di Napoli tomatoes from the pizza legend himself, Chris Bianco. These are just really nice because they're really plump and they have an awesome natural sweetness to it where a lot of tomatoes don't. Got the tomatoes. Good pinch of salt. Great, one whole raw garlic in there. So that is the sauce, that's it. Got our dough, got a bowl of flour. Actually, I want it this way. It's just super sticky right now. It is really good, but uh, you just wanna put it in a little bit of flour. Dumping it in the flour and whatever sticks to it naturally is just like a really good place to know. Bloop. There's a lot of gas buildup in here. We're just gonna push all the gas bubbles to like the outside. And really you're just establishing that like outer crust. And then from here is like where you can have fun with it. One of the easiest ways is you're just kind of like holding it with your knuckles and then kind of just like rotating the dough at like a 45 degree angle. You can just like stretch it out on the table too. Ooh. I like to build it on the peel. We're just gonna dust this a little bit. So sauce and you're kind of just using like the edge of the crust as your borders. We are gonna do a Neapolitan style pizza. This is called buffalo mozzarella. It's kind of just like the better version of fresh mozzarella, but fresh mozzarella is also awesome. We'll do some cheese on there, fresh mozza. And then we got some fresh basil. I like the really giant leaves for this. I put a lot of olive oil on my Neapolitan pizza, specifically on the basil leaves. It like helps to like lubricate it. This pizza seems super simple, but it's actually like one of the most delicious. I think it's good to go, dude. <laughs> Got the Neapolitan pizza pie here, super simple. And you can see the crust puffed up super nicely right here. Mmm, mm, this is nice, man. Simple and classic, dude. Oh, mmm, get that flour in there, baby. Whoop, smush it down towards the edges with my fangles. You can do this too if you see like certain parts towards the edge are like thicker than others. 
Look, there was sauce on here. Spread it out. This right here is a mix of just like Parmesan, Asiago, and Fontina. Break up these fresh mozzarella chunks a little bit smaller. And then this is just hot Italian sausage. Par cooked already, just so it's gonna get crispier. A Little bit of basil. Breaking up any like large pieces. Everyone's favorite ingredient, dude. Some jalapenos. So like sausage and pepper pizza, basically. Let's launch this bad boy. We are just gonna top this with a little bit of caramelized onions on here. It's gonna work really nicely with the spiciness of the jalapenos in there. Check it out. The crust popped up real nicely. Next pizza we're gonna do is everyone's favorite. You see it all the time in New York. Pepperoni and hot honey pizza, dude. The hot honey is gonna be super simple, man. Need a little bit of honey for that. Crushed red chili flakes, man. You probably already have it in your fridge already. Depending on how spicy you want it, dude, just load it up there. I am a big fan of garlic honey. Microplane garlic's just super strong, so I wouldn't do, for this amount, I wouldn't do that much. Mix this up a little, cover it up, and then let it sit. And this is after like two days. You can see like the moisture from the garlic has pulled out a little bit and made the honey a little bit more runny. Okay, same situation for this pizza. Sticky boy. Mm. I'm gonna flatten this whole thing out and I'm gonna show you like the difference between when we flatten it all out and these other pizzas. You'll notice like the difference in the crust. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna practice and just get really good at that. Hit it with that young sauce. You notice how much bigger this pizza is when you don't leave space for the crust. Cheese! Low moisture mozzarella and then provolone cheese in there as well. Another cheese I really like to use is this smoked gouda. Adds a nice extra flavor to it. Secret ingredient, we got the wiener here. When it has a natural casing and it cooks, that's what causes like the little pizza to curl up. Ooh, that's right. I'm gonna add one more thing to it, dude. Sliced. Red onion, dude. One of my favorite ingredients on pizza. This pizza's ready for a launching, baby. Ooh. Pepperoni and pizza. The spicy garlic honey. Fresh basil leaves on there. Ah, damn, dude. All three of these, same dough, same sauce, but like I was saying, as far as the toppings go, you can just be like super creative with it. Oh, should know, you can also make this in the oven too, man. You don't need a pizza oven to make great pizza. So yes, please make pizza at home, dude. I did already have a slice of this, but I think I'm just gonna go for this pepperoni one right here. I got a slice of Neapolitan on there. Just fold this boy up. This is how they do it in Italia. Mmm, that's decent, man. Mm, that's what I'm good, man. Traditional Neapolitan pizza, man. It's often crunchy, as uh, Vito would say. Try making pizza at home. It's a lot easier to make high quality pizza than you probably think it is. Thanks for watching. Mmm.